Hey guys, it's Aaron. I'm here with Katie, and we have some big news for you today. It's time to announce our 2019 PolitiFact Lie of the Year. Cue that drum roll. Yeah. So each December, uh, we uh, give an award, if you call it that, mm -hmm. to the most significant falsehood of the calendar year. This is something that, what, Katie? It kind of makes you angry. It's kind of ridiculous. It threatens democracy. It's something kind of so significant that we want to reflect on it and hopefully avoid it in the future, right? Yes, yeah, so 2019, there were a, a lot of contenders, okay, to put it mildly, but we ultimately settled on one claim that we heard again and again and again. So the winner of the 2019 Live of the Year is President Donald Trump's claim that the whistleblower got it wrong about his Ukraine call. All right, so Katie, actually, you wrote this story uh, announcing uh, the Live of the Year and giving it to Donald Trump yes. for the third time. Um, so. Uh, give us the 30-second fact check. So why is Trump wrong when he says the whistleblower was wrong? This is a very interesting claim for Trump because it is directly undermined by his very own White House partial transcript of the call. The key points advanced by the whistleblower were that he told Zelensky, Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, to work with his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and his attorney general, William Barr, on two investigations. One was to look into Joe Biden and his son, Hunter. Um, the second investigation is a complicated conspiracy theory involving an American company called CrowdStrike and what Trump believes to be the real origins of the 2016 storyline about Russian interference. He actually thinks it was Ukrainian interference. Exactly. So when we looked at, as anyone can do, we looked at what the call actually said, he not only covers all of those points, Trump goes into even more detail, validating what the whistleblower was concerned about. Yeah, so I wanted to ask another question about this kind of narrative, because um, Trump hasn't just made this comment once or twice. This has been a passing kind of idea for him, right? Yeah, so I actually got to do a little deep dive, and I found more than 70 times Trump has made this argument that the whistleblower got it wrong, that it was fi total fiction, that it was false, fraudulent, fake, so wrong with many O's. He has really hammered this home and it's just not true. You can easily compare the key sections in both documents, which are very short. And we have to point out, not only has Trump validated the claims of the whistleblower through his own phone call, but we've also heard people who were firsthand witnesses listening to the phone call say, yeah, that's what he said. And we also have President Trump in subsequent weeks explaining to reporters that, yeah, he did ask for those investigations because the Bidens need to be investigated. At one point, he even invited China to join in the investigating of Hunter Biden as well. So Katie, this is not the first time Donald Trump has won this award. No, this is his third time. He made claims in 2015. We couldn't choose just one, but they were so wild that we awarded three different claims from his campaign with lie of the year, including that he saw Muslims cheering 9-11 from across the river after the planes hit. The second time he won the award, however, was in 2017. So he was, he was president then for saying that the Russia investigation was just a hoax, a made up scam by Democrats. So those stories and this new one are all available on politifact.com. You can read uh, why uh, the whistleblower didn't get it wrong. You can also learn a little bit about will the whistleblower have be asked to testify before the Senate if the uh, impeachment moves forward there. It's an interesting story. I hope you give it a, a look. And until next time, I'm Aaron and this is Katie. Take care.